Hello, great to be with you again. Uh, we've been thinking about praying bold prayers for the last few days. And I think that when it comes to praying bold prayers, nobody's ever done it better than Jesus. He had the physical, mental, spiritual and, and emotional strength to pray the biggest prayers imaginable, even when it meant that the consequences for him were unimaginable. Luke chapter 22, verse 42, uh, a prayer that Jesus prayed. He prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet, not my will, but yours be done. That last part was just a perfect reflection of, of uh, the beginning of the Lord's Prayer, which he had taught the disciples not so long before. He prayed that prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane the night before the cru crucifixion. Now I can't imagine that anyone at the age of 33 would have wanted to die. He, he had so much that he could have lived for. But he was in such a straight state of extreme stress that he began to exhibit the symptoms of a medical condition known as hematidrosis. He literally began to sweat blood because of the stress of what was coming. In Matthew and Mark's accounts, we learn that he told Peter, uh, James and John that his soul was overwhelmed to the point of death with sorrow. So at that point, he needed to pray the boldest prayer that he possibly could. He knew that God had a bigger plan for him. He knew that uh, his death was a key part of that plan. And when he left that garden, having spent time with God, he was able to face what was coming. He'd come to a place of peace. The victory at that stage had already been won. Luke records in, in his account of the Gospel that an angel appeared from heaven and strengthened him. And we can see that as the, the crowd came to arrest him, he had the calmness and peace that he'd always had. He stopped the confrontation with this mob of officials who'd come to arrest him. He healed a man who'd had his ear cut off with a sword, and then he went with them in peace. In the times when we struggle most with life, stress, difficult situations, ill health, grief, and probably more things than I, I could possibly list here, it's worth remembering the change that came over Jesus during that time of prayer. God is always with us. He's always there to strengthen us in good times and in bad. He will always give us his peace and his strength because he loves us. So something to think about for today. What do you need to pray bold prayers for? What is it that's happening in your life that means that you need to have the strength of God, the peace of God to get through? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that you would bless us with heaven's strength, fortitude, a desire to stand next to you in the difficult times that we have to go through, in the struggles that we have. I pray, Lord, that you bless us with the peace of heaven, that you'd guide us through the struggle to that place where the knowledge of you is all we need. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.